Johnson to annex the championship. He is a tremendous puncher. After that, he became Matthew Saad Muhammad. He has defended seven times the most recent one, April of this year, against Murray Sutherland. Sutherland went from that right and that left in the ninth round. It'll be the eighth time around in defense of the title today for Saad Muhammad. The opponent, Jerry Martin, best remembered from May 1980. James Scott, Broadway State Prison, first round knockdown. And Scott staggered to his feet. Finally made it, but in the second round, he suffered the same fate. Again, it was a crunching right by Martin, who went on to win a 10-round decision. Today, the title at stake sought Muhammad against Martin. To be an active fight. It figures indeed to be a slugfest. The challenger is a legitimate one, based upon his record capable of even pulling an upset. The challenger is number three rated. His name is Jerry Martin. He was notable in his victory over James Scott in the Rawway State Prison when he floored him twice. How is he going to fight the fight against another slugger, the champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad? Listen to Jerry Martin himself tell it. I plan to fight Saad Muhammad like nobody else fights him. I'm going to stay right down to Saad Muhammad. Saad Muhammad has no body at all, and I know that. I used to box him, and if you hit him in his body, he's just fold. He'll fold. You see one guy hit him in his body. You see Yaki Lopez topped him with a small left hook, and he didn't fight for 58 seconds after that. Saad doesn't have any body, and I'm going to tear him up. Well, maybe he will, maybe he won't. Time will tell. Right now, let's move up to ring center for the announcements and the introductions of the fighters by our ring announcer. Welcome to the Golden Nugget Hotel here in Atlantic City, New Jersey as Murat Mohammed, in association with the Golden Nugget Hotel here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, present the World Boxing Council Light Heavyweight Championship bout which is scheduled for 15 rounds. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of this scheduled WBC Light Heavyweight Championship bout, referee Larry Hazard. Introducing the principals in the red corner, wearing the red trunks with the white trim, tipping the scales at an even 175 pounds, a native of Antigua, the British Columbia, and now residing in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen, here is Jerry the Bull Martin. Martin. And his opponent, wearing the green trunks with the gold and white trim, he too is tipping the scales at an even 175 pounds. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the World Boxing Council Light Heavyweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen, here is Matthew Saad Muhammad. Saad Muhammad. All right, both fighters have been introduced by ring announcer Ed Darian. He gave incorrect weights for both fighters. 172 and a half for Jerry Martin. 172 for Saad Muhammad. There you see the correct weights, the heights, the tail of the tape, co-equivalent ages, the reach. No material difference, though the edge goes to Martin. The records, 33 and 2 for Matthew Saad Muhammad with 23 KOs, 22 and 2 for Jerry Martin with 15 KOs. The ring size, 18 feet 6 inches. The ring size. And of course, WBC rules, 10 point must scoring system. Three knockdown rule waved and off they go. I'm gonna go right at him, he got no stomach. I'm gonna tear him up. The words of Jerry Martin, which you earlier heard. He is in the red trunks. The champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad, coming to you live from Atlantic City. In the green trunks. Larry Hazard, the referee, local referee, has done a lot of fights in Jersey. Well, Martin, for the moment, trying to make what he told us stick. It has been the habit of Matthew Saad Muhammad to start slowly. Often behind, he has shown great comeback capacity. A terrific puncher has come through with late round knock knockouts to preserve his title ever since he won it. 
that day against Marvin Johnson in Indianapolis in one of the best fights of that year. Saad Muhammad, champion Jerry Martin trying to go to the body. You saw him again throughout the first round, trying to make his prediction stick, his battle plan. The man has no body. I'm going to go to it. into the first round. Saad Muhammad always says, I'm going to jab my opponents into extinction, and then he turns every fight into a brawl. Martin will keep coming at you, and in the end fighting, he's working for Saad Muhammad's stomach, as you can see. And he has been pretty effective at it. Came up with a right overhand. Saad Muhammad with no movement. He has been for the last against the ropes and Jerry Martin used the time effectively working to the body occasionally up to the head Jerry Martin is the aggressor is coming to Saad Muhammad we are closing in on the end of round number one counted a good round for Jerry Martin we're back Round two just underway. Round one, as I told you, a good round for Jerry Martin. And immediately he goes back to the belly again of Saad Muhammad. And there is Saad Muhammad attempting to cover up against the ropes. But remember, the pattern of all Saad Muhammad fights. Nothing in the early rounds, and then suddenly coming on in the late rounds. Finally, a couple of return blows. Counter punches by Saad Muhammad, who fought his way off the ropes. But he didn't do it for the first 25 seconds of round number two. Remember Larry Hazard, the referee, no voice in the scar. Ten-point bus system, a system under angry criticism by some sports writers ever since the Leonard Hearns fracas a week and three days ago in Las Vegas. Jerry Mort, the Red Trunks, Saad Muhammad in the green. This battle for the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. The Light Heavies have not gotten their due. Saad Muhammad, a good fighter. Michael Spinks, a good fighter. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, a good fighter. fighting effectively in the end fighting. Saad Muhammad yet to unleash anything, though he got a good right up to the left side of Martin's jaw. And for the first time, Martin felt some stinging leather. Look at Martin go into that stomach after a right by Saad Muhammad. You boxing fans have been told often enough, close to the midsection, have an accumulative effect upon an opponent. They debilitate. Much in the pattern of round one. Martin all over. Saad Muhammad in both rounds. 30 seconds left and counting down. Occasionally, Martin will come up as he did just a few seconds ago. But in the main, it's working to the body. Watch his head. We will stay with you between rounds. And round two, another good round for Jerry Martin 
the challenge. Now, as we look at Jerry Martin, the men in his corner, Leon Tabs, Jimmy Savage, and Ralph Citra. Just be patient. Don't worry about any kind of criticism. This is going to do it for you. Nice job. You won those first two rounds, baby. Let's keep going to work now. You heard the words of the corners. You heard Martin's corner telling me one both rounds. We'd like to welcome our viewers who've been watching NCAA College Football, Oregon State, Minnesota. The final score of the game, Minnesota, 42. The big golden gophers, 42, Oregon State, 12. We pick up with action in round three. <laughs> Bring the punches up, Larry Hazard said to Jerry Martin. But Martin's attack remains exactly as he said it would be and exactly as he has fought the first two rounds. Working to the midsection. Don't forget the 5th Avenue Mile will be coming up after this fight. And for those of you just joining us, this battle is for the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. And that was the first good combination registered by Saad Muhammad in the fight. Martin has been the aggressor from the opening bell. Martin, three-rated contender. Martin in the red front. Saad Muhammad in the green. And now Saad Muhammad is beginning to open up. He is measuring Martin. Martin is a fighter who keeps coming to you. He should be wide open for Saad Muhammad's punches. We have a minute and five seconds to go in the third round. Hazard breaking them. Martin suddenly not getting into the belly the way he was. More concerned about protecting himself. Now he's got Saad Muhammad against the ropes the way he had him in the first two rounds. And he resumes his attack to the belly. For a minute of this round, Saad Muhammad gave some evidence of his punching ability. Come on, come on, come on. See the clock going. Oh, staggered by a right. Jerry Martin, that was not a slip. He is in trouble. He is backing off. He is trying to get his composure. to the left of your screen, green trunks, now the reverse positions, Jerry Martin in the red trunks, first two rounds, Martin's steady attack to the midsection, infighting, very effective for Jerry, the third round, Saad Muhammad began to open up, his manager, Bilal Muhammad, is sitting next to me, there is a cut. Waiting for a camera shot as Martin returns to the end fighting of Saad Muhammad's right eye. No, no, step back. Step back. Saad just bore that right eye with his glove. As quickly as we 
a position to get that shot for you, you'll see. And you probably just did. It is in the upper corner of the right eye. A troublesome spot. The blood can pour into the eye, diffusing the vision. This is fourth round action. No knockdown yet. In the third round, Jerry Martin suddenly staggered by a Saad Muhammad onslaught. Martin's corner told him between the third and the fourth round. Just saw a cautioning note from referee Larry Hazard. They said, don't blow it, kid. You won the first two rounds easy. You've got to protect yourself. Don't let him tag you. But you've got to not only do protect yourself, you've got to stay on that stomach attack. Saad Muhammad beginning to use the ring. An 18-6 ring. 18 feet, 6-6. Six, six. Get off, get off. That's the place you don't want to let Martin get you. He proved that in the first two rounds. Don't let him pin you against the ropes and work to the belly. You see him, that close-up shot. The way Saad Muhammad is trying to cover. But he is not getting away from the rope. He is staying in there. And up with the left came Martin. And again with the left, up came Martin. And a good right uppercut by Martin. This is the place where he punishes the champion who has stopped movement and has stayed against the ropes for the final minute of this round. A mistaken tactic. We're back live in Atlantic City, fifth round action, WBC, light heavyweight championship at stake. Matthew Saad Muhammad, right of your screen, green trunks, defending against a tough challenger, Jerry Martin. At least very tough in the first four rounds, though Saad Muhammad won the third round and staggered Martin. I mentioned the cut in the upper right corner, cautioning from Larry Hazard to Martin about keeping his blows up. Jerry Martin's cut has been repaired by his cut man, Adolf Ritako. He is a good cut man. This is Saad Muhammad's eighth title defense. Let me tell you about Ritako, a good cut man, but suspended because in a fight, Saad Muhammad against Conti, he used a solution that exceeded the legal limit, one one thousandth adrenaline. He's not going to make that mistake again, I don't think. In this, the fifth round. Martin back to the same tactic. You've seen the same pattern, except for the third round. Saad Muhammad against the ropes. Martin working to the stomach. Cautions from Larry Hazard are no. He is sticking to his announced battle plan, which you heard in the prelude to the fight itself. He went upstairs then, but Saad Muhammad at the moment is not making his fight. Still a caution. Saad Muhammad always a slow starter. It appeared he might deviate with the big round that he had in the third when he staggered Martin and I thought came close to being able to put him away. We've got a minute to go in round five. And you see the pattern of the fight as it has been in three of the prior four rounds. Saad Muhammad against the ropes, attempting the cover. Martin, they call him the bull, and he's been fighting like a bull. Thirty-five seconds left, and suddenly Saad Muhammad got him in ring center and began to deliver blows the way we've seen him deliver. Right there. That right hurt Jerry Martin. Looking to measure the opponent. Loading up. Ten seconds left in the round. Martin, the bull, coming toward Saad Muhammad. Good overhand right by Saad Muhammad. We're back live, ringside Atlantic City. That title is what is at stake. Matthew Saad Muhammad came on in the 
second half of the fifth round. In my personal subjective view, Jerry Martin may have punched himself out. He looked exhausted between rounds. Came in at 172 and a half, may have been overtrained. Now Saad Muhammad, always a late starter. Beginning to come on, not against the ropes now, but in ring center. Looking for a kill. This is sixth round action. Muhammad is getting the left in now. Muhammad was married to a most beautiful woman within the past two months. In his fight against Murray Sutherland, he suffered a terribly cut lip, required plastic surgery. He had a wisecrack about that that might not be tasteful for use at this time. Good left by Mott. But not for the prolonged periods of prior rounds, excluding the third. Minute left in the sixth round. The bowl keeps coming at Saad Muhammad. But in this round, I think he's begun to reflect the fatigue I talked about. The aggression has not been so insistent. The number of blows, not so consistent. right eye has not been the source of any trouble up till now. Seems to be well under control. We're back live ringside Atlantic City and Matthew Saad Muhammad appears tired too. I think maybe he's overtrained. Bilal Muhammad, his manager, admits it to me sitting next to me. This is seventh round action. Martin now taunting Saad Muhammad, talking to him. Martin, the bow. Coming up after this fight, the Fifth Avenue Mile. And then still later, over most of these stations, USC against Oklahoma. College football at his best. A good right to Saad Muhammad's stomach. Doubled him up. Caused him to try to cover up. And Martin is dominating again. Where it appeared between the fifth and sixth rounds, he was beset by fatigue. Now he is coming back and strongly. He's returned to his earlier round pattern of fighting. Saad Muhammad Look at those blows to the belly. Then up to the overhand right. I'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round we'll take a station break. A minute 25 left in the round. Saad Muhammad only fleetingly fighting the way we've seen him fight in the third round, which he won. And then in the second half of the fifth round. We are in the seventh round. I said at the top of the telecast that Martin is a respected challenge and is capable of producing an upset. He's got a long way to go. A good overhand right, another one. Saad Muhammad just covering. So down to the belly goes Martin again, making his battle plan stick. the ropes. 
Good overhead right by Championship fight after this word from our local stations. All right, we're back live, Atlantic City at ringside, and Matthew Saad Muhammad up till now having the fight of his life for the defense of that title, which you just saw in the graphic. I can't measure, you can't measure, not even, only the precious wisdom of 2020 hindsight can measure the damage that Martin has done to Saad Muhammad with his belly attack. Right now, Saad Muhammad looking like he's got some new life out in ring center, where he can get punching leverage is where he belongs, where he fights the best. the ropes again and work on the belly. Larry Hazard, the referee, separates them. The judges scoring the fight, Harold Letterman, William Kostrov, and Richard Murray. Eighth round action. Early in the fight, a cut in the upper corner of the right eye on Matthew Saad Muhammad, quickly repaired. No factor in the fight. snapped back by a Martin Wright for a minute 40 into the round. Eighth round action. Saad Muhammad to the left of the screen. Martin to the right. Wild punches now. Two quick lefts. Another left by Martin. A minute left in round Where Martin looked done in in terms of fatigue, he got a second win. And Saad Muhammad, again, we can't measure how much has been taken out of him, but he's back against the ropes again. A familiar posture in this fight. Martin working to the stomach, then trying to come up with the uppercut. Saad Muhammad, quick hand to close there. 20 seconds left. Just run for the start of round nine, WBC light heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Saad Muhammad, the champion to the left in the green trunks, Jerry Martin to the right. And Saad Muhammad in trouble, but he's been through that before. Good left there. Remember, he is a sterling warrior in the late going, always has been. If Jerry Martin's hands begin to drop, knock him out. The real question is, how much this time has Muhammad retained of his power because of the incessant amount of belly punishment, body punishment that he's taken in earlier rounds from Jerry Martin. Martin fighting like the bull that they nicknamed him. A minute into this, the ninth itself a surprise. In the fourth round, in 
the third round. Correction. Martin was staggered by a sudden Saad Muhammad onslaught. But that was it. Flashing moment. Minute 45 into the ninth. to go in the ninth round. Martin got the better of that exchange. and Martin showing some of the fatigue that I referred to between the fifth and sixth rounds. We're back live Atlantic City, round 10. Again, that's the title at stake. Now, signs of fatigue in Jerry Martin as the ninth round ended. Let's see if Saad Muhammad can come on, as is his habit. Let's see what we can pick up in each corner. 
action from the prior round. We'll go to this. There was that crunching right by the Bo Martin. That right too high up, that left good, and suddenly Muhammad was in a self-protective posture because he had been dominating the round in the early set. Working over Saad Muhammad. Rataco is the cut man. And we come in to round 11. A lot of people didn't think it would go this far, but it has. I'll tell you that Rataco is a master. City at ringside and with me is referee Larry Hazard. Here he is. Please explain to the viewers, Larry, exactly okay, why you, you stopped you, the fight. As you know, there have been a lot of deaths, ring killings, and fighters who are unable to protect themselves at any particular time getting concussions. This man suffered what is known as a concussive episode. Watch when he gets hit with this series of blows here. His hands were at his side. He was a sitting duck. You'll see him stagger here. His hands are... You see him here? He's wide open. His hands are at his side. Now, I'm, I had a look in his eyes. This man is hurt. This man doesn't know where he's at. Now, it doesn't matter whether he goes down or not. The referee has to be courageous enough to step in and do what he thinks is necessary. A man in this condition can get killed or get seriously injured from a fighter like Saad Muhammad. He had took a lot of uh, close inside punches. He was getting hurt. I noticed that his legs were getting weak. Every time he would come out for the round, uh, round he was getting weaker and weaker. When Saad Muhammad hit him with that right hand in that series of punches, the man staggered right there with his hands at his waist. I had to do what I thought was for the best, in the best interest of this fighter, because there have been too many people connected in this game who are not concerned about fighters. I felt that this man would have been seriously injured had I let this bout continue. Therefore, I would not have something of this nature on my conscience. I don't care what anybody My friend, says. it took a lot of courage. And I'm proud that you're not paying any attention to the anger of the fans who are emotional and in many cases biased. And I also want to congratulate you because I think you've explained to the public exactly why you took the action you did. And if Jerry Martin was ahead in the scoring, it doesn't matter. My congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming to us and explaining to us. Matthew Saad Muhammad is here right now. Just one quick word. Did you know that the man was in very bad trouble? Very shape? bad trouble. I'll tell you what they, one thing. Uh, I did that with Murray Southern, but uh, you know, I believe he got up, but the man was hurt. And you seen it. You seen that round when I hit him with the right hand, the man completely 
dropped his head. Uh, I was going to hit with a couple more combinations. That would have been it. Saad, congratulations to you. The guy gave you some battle, well, I'll tell you. He's now, a bull. First of all, I'm going to, I'm going to say a praise good, good, uh, due to God. And I want to say hello to all the Montgomery County Boys Club up there in Steve Trace Gym and uh, people over in Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska, my people. What you really want is to unify Michael the Spinks. title. Michael, Michael Spinks. Spinks. Michael Spinks. 